Hey guys, I'm going to take you through a very quick tip on how to uh, create a steel wool photograph with an astro photo in the background, in this case uh, the Milky Way. Now we can't actually shoot these uh, physically as one shot because the steel wool is going to be too bright. So we take them as two separate photos. So we've got the Milky Way as one shot and then the steel wool as another shot. Now these have got the exact same edits on it. I'm not going to take you through those, but it's pretty basic editing. And all we're going to do is uh, select those two files, right click, edit in, open those layers in Photoshop. Alright, so now that those layers have opened in Photoshop, um, now th these were photographed at my last Auckland uh, Astro Photography Workshop in Piha just a couple of days ago. So they're the exact same scene. Nothing's changed apart from settings and what we're shooting. Uh, so all you need to do is go to your layer blending mode and go down to screen. And there you have it. There's your photos blended nicely. Uh, now all we need to do is just mask out the parts that we don't need. Now you can see as I toggle this on and off, it's, there's a bit of light bleed around the headlands here and on the bench. So we're just going to, and there's also a tripod there which was captured on one of the scenes. So I'm just going to mask that back in. So I'm going to command I to invert that mask. Then using an eraser tool with the black mode selected, just brush those back in. In most cases, you won't need to do this, but it does help just to keep an eye on what things you need and what things you don't need. Just makes it look a little bit cleaner. I can still see a tripod leg there. So I'm going to make a double mask. I'm going to group that, make another mask. Using the white, the white eraser tool, just brush in parts that we don't necessarily need. I'm just going to feather that mask a little bit, give it a bit of a softer edge. Now this is where um, what we call is stretching the histogram. You've probably heard that term before, but it's just pretty much making the the Milky Way stars and all the the, da the dust lanes and gas clouds pop a little bit more. So what I do is a little bit of brightness and contrast. So a little bit of contrast lessen the brightness as much. Just going to grad mask, so that's G for graduation. Just click and drag that down. Adjust the density a little bit. I'm going to duplicate that, command J. Lessen. The good thing about Photoshop is that you can double up on these settings so fast to get what you're after. Now if I save that, that's going to automatically open back up in Lightroom. There we are, so now it's back in Lightroom. Now from here you can do some further edits. Uh, I like to just add a little bit more clarity, just gives it a little bit more structure to the image. Uh, I could probably lift the shadows a little bit. Add a little bit of curves. I probably wouldn't go much further than that, that's looking pretty good. So there you have it, that's how you um, combine your uh, steel wheel photography with astrophotography. Now, I hope you learned a little bit from this tutorial. Um, feel free to post your images from the future um, or get in touch if you want more help. Um, yeah, good luck.